So hello and welcome. I'm Robin Duke Woolley. I'm the CEO of Beecham Research. We are a specialist analyst firm in the M2M sector and we look at uh, the market trends and uh, the main market players uh, in that market. And I have together with me uh, today Eric Brenice, who is director of uh, M2M uh, at Vodafone. So welcome to you, Eric. Hello, Robin. Welcome to Vodafone. Thanks very much. And uh, just to kick this off uh, as a first uh, question, Vodafone is known to be the uh, largest international mobile operator worldwide. Why would Vodafone be so interested in the end-to-end -end market? Well, there's actually a couple of reasons for that. Um, on one hand, the machine-to-machine -machine market in itself is a very attractive market. It's a growing market and I think we've only seen the beginning of how big it will be. The second reason is that we in Vodafone, I think, are very well positioned in order to address this market in the optimal way. We're the largest global mobile operator. We have our networks everywhere. We have our people everywhere. And we are also very innovative. And last but not least, for a mobile operator, I think it's very important to be strong in machine to machine because you can create partnerships with companies, very close partnerships in machine to machine, and then sell other products and services. So how do you see Vodafone's business growing? So we've had really great growth over the last couple of years. When I joined Vodafone four years ago, we had three million machine-to-machine -machine connections. Now at the moment, we stand at 14 million machine-to-machine -machine connections. And only that is just the beginning. We have large projects which are under implementation at the moment, and this number of machine-to-machine -machine connections will grow much more over the next coming years. So Eric, how has Vodafone's approach to the M2M market changed or developed over the last few years? When I joined Vodafone about four years ago, the most important thing that we wanted to make sure is that anybody who wants to connect a machine anywhere in the world will do that on Vodafone's machine-to-machine -machine network. So we've built our machine-to-machine -machine offer to really get into the market very strongly in that mm -hmm. respect. That's been very successful. I think we're the market leader today in providing machine-to-machine -machine connectivity and this business is still growing. Then about two years ago, we decided that we want to offer more to our customers than just um, the connectivity. So we started to create the so-called machine-to-machine connected products. These are solutions in which we take hardware from one of our partners. We take the Vodafone global network and we use software, data analysis and reporting software in order to translate all this data into information for our customers. Mm. A couple of good examples. One is the so-called connected cabinet mm -hmm. in which we have created a product for beverage manufacturers in which they can put hardware into their refrigerators or beverage um, machines. This hardware monitors the temperature, the location and the stock level Trans tra it sends the data over the global machine-to-machine -machine network from Vodafone to software, which we also wrote. Mm -hmm. The software takes the raw data, translates it into meaningful information, and passes this data on to the beverage companies every day. Another solution that we've created is the so-called Vodafone Vehicle Connect, mm -hmm. in which we monitor driver behavior with hardware from a partner, again, our network, and software which we wrote and deliver this data to insurance companies. So which do you see as the big uh, vertical markets that you see the biggest opportunities in over the next few years? I think one is the automotive market. Almost any car manufacturer is currently looking into creating the connected car and we are developing this connected car with many of these car manufacturers already mm -hmm. at this very moment. The second big market is the energy industry in which many electrical utilities are looking for uh, smart metering where they remotely read their right. electricity meters. And consumer electronics is also a segment which is growing very strongly. A couple of years ago we had, we had Amazon bringing the Kindle e-reader to market. The Kindle outside the US also has a Vodafone SIM card right. in order to download the books. And what about the healthcare markets? Do you think that that represents a big opportunity for Vodafone? I think healthcare is very important and will be a big market. For example, we have already projects running with um, partners which remotely monitor diabetes patients oh. or dialysis patients. And we also have solutions with Boston Scientific, for example, 
where they remotely read the status of the heart pacers of patients all, all around the world. Right. So the health market is a very huge growth market, but it's still in the beginning and there's a lot of regulation country by country, so it will still take a couple of years until it gets right. as big as automotive. Mm -hmm.